Let me show you how you can obtain a date timestamp each time you check a checkbox like this. You might be thinking, this is an easy solution. You're going to use ifs b2 equal false is blank, b2 equals true is now. Then after that, hit enter and then apply to a few rows the same formula like this. And then if you place a check here, you can see the date timestamp coming in. But if you click another checkbox, you can see that the date time actually refreshes. And you click the next one, you can see the date time actually refreshes. This is an undesirable effect because you want to maintain the uh, integrity of the original checkbox of when it was checked. So let me uncheck this and show you how you can modify the existing formula. So you're going to change B2 to C2 and basically you're going to look for blank. If it's blank, you're going to show now as a date now itself. And here you're going to say if it's true, you're going to basically reference it back to C2 just like that and hit enter. Now you're going to apply the same formula to the rest of the rows like this. Now, if you were to put a checkbox here, you can see that it comes up with a pound reference exclamation error. This is how you resolve it. Go to File, go Settings, go to Calculation tabs, and in here you're going to say Off to On to turn on the iterative calculation and go save settings. Now I'm going to toggle this just to refresh it. And you can see it's got a date timestamp of 12, uh, 11 and 6 seconds in the AM. And if you click the next one, you can see that the original timestamp for this, the first checkbox is maintained. And you keep checking the next one, you can see that it's not refreshing anymore.